we today? I am super excited today. I cannot tell you. Today we are interviewing Laura Flores. And um, I am just super excited. So I know that um, we did a, a, a few little snippets earlier and this will be in English and Spanish. That's very important for me to share with you. So if you speak Spanish, you'll understand it. If you speak English, you'll understand it because we're gonna do a back and forth Spanglish, if you will, and it's very, very important. I'm Daniela with Renee Paris. And again, today we are having Laura Flores. She'll join me in just a few minutes. Um, but like if, you, if you've seen um, that it's gonna be in Spanish because I did do a, a little story on Spanish, you will understand that the live today. So please stay with us because this is so valuable, especially for us um, wig shop owners. We can share this because this information is invaluable. I'm super excited to have you with us. Today, I'm gonna wait just a few minutes. She's gonna join us in just a little bit. Para la gente que habla español, estoy muy emocionada porque hoy es, tenemos una entrevista con Laura Flores, la gran de México, pero la entrevista va a ser en inglés y en español. So I, again, I am super, super excited to have you today, and please do not hesitate, like I said, and I'm, I'll say it several times, um, this is going to be... This is going to be in English and Spanish, and I think... I. Th Let's see. I hope so. So like I said, um, do not hesitate. This is Laura. Hola. Hi. Hello, Mas. Qué gusto platicar contigo, Ay, Daniela, mira, y con toda Mas, la gente. Me da mucho gusto platicar con usted también. Es un no, honor para mí. Es un honor para mí también poder estar en este live contigo, con tanta gente bella que te sigue. Yo soy tu fan. Thank soy you. fan de René de París, pero también soy tu fan Thank por you. la forma en la que hablas, la forma en la que te expresas y la forma en la que nos haces saber a las mujeres lo importante que es sentirnos cómodas con nuestro aspecto. Thank you. So Laura is sharing that she is a fan of René de París and a fan of myself, which, wow, thank you so much. Um, because of my, um, because of the way I speak and so forth. And today, like I said earlier, this is going to be in English and Spanish. And it's very, very important. Um, our focus is going to be, of course, her journey with wigs and the fact that um, someone so global and so iconic is willing to share that they wear wigs and how important it is for anyone. We're beautiful with and without hair, but this is someone who's coming forth sharing with us today that she is, she's a global star and she <laughs> her, her um, journey with wigs. So Laura, if you, if you will, please tell us who Laura Flores is. Well, thank you so much guys. And yes, we're going to go in both languages because we are, I mean, Renee of Paris is a, it's a worldwide company and uh, uh, we have both of you and I and Renee of Paris in this uh, Instagram account. We have followed, you have followers in English, and I mean, who speak English and Spanish. So I'm um, very happy to join you and talk about René of Paris. A lot of people, estoy hablando de lo importante que es hablar de René de Paris. Mucha gente me ha preguntado, eh, ¿qué haces? ¿Qué pelucas usas? ¿Dónde las consigo? A lot of people ask me about my wigs and what do I do? So I started a long time ago and most of the, uh, everybody, not even, not just actresses, not just actors, no nada más artistas, but everybody wears either a hair extension or something to enhance your amount of hair. Todos usamos algo para que se vea como más pelo, ¿no? And then at some point, I just found out that wearing a wig was the best way to go. But I could not just use any wig. No te puedes poner cualquier peluca. Cuando descubres que una peluca te va a resolver la vida, tienes que saber qué peluca te vas a poner, ¿no crees, Daniela? Sí, es muy importante tener pelucas de mucha calidad. Y las pelucas de René Paris, mucha calidad. So what I'm sharing is that Laura is saying that she has always felt so wonderful about wigs and wearing wigs, but you can't just choose any wig, especially where with all her different hats that she wears, if you will. She's an actress, a musician. Um, she's on telenovelas, so that's like uh, what in the United States, soap operas. Mm -hmm. 
She's got over, I mean, she does so many albums, videos, and you want wigs that are going to hold up, that are going to be of superior quality. And this is why Laura's saying that she loves Renee de Peris. And th don't you just love the way that sounds? I, <laughs> <laughs> it just so Peris, it's a great brand. And I love the way it sounds. And I love the name. And I love the history, which you can tell is better than me, about uh, Renee de Paris. Eh, y las pelucas de René de París, yo las conocí en Televisa cuando estaba yo haciendo, bueno, en Televisa se caracterizan por tener un gran departamento de peluquería. So they, they have a, a great, how, do you, how would you call this, like a, a hairdressing department? Yes, the department where they do the wigs. Correct, where they yeah. do, porque es específico de pelucas, where they do the wigs and they use natural hair, which is very, you know, fancy, we know that, pricey fancy and you have to do a lot of work because we're working with natural hair. So uh, when we came out, I was doing a project uh, called Soltero con Hijas, which actually just finished airing in Univision. And I wanted a short hair look, but I was not willing to cut my hair, those things. Like, I don't know if I want to cut my hair. So the producer, Juan Osorio, uh, authorized me. Él me autorizó, Juan Osorio, a usar una peluca. But he told me, you have to convince me. It has to look natural. And then I sent him a picture of, with my wig, and he asked me, did you cut your hair? And I teased him, and I said, yes, I did. And it was a wig, a René de Paris wig. Yes. I got it here. You want to see it? Yes, I do. Let's see. Okay. So let me... Let me show it because I have so many wigs here. You would be crazy. I don't okay, so what, what Laura's sharing that she had to talk to her producer the per, uh, because they wanted her to cut her hair short for this particular um, role filming. And um, she said that she had to convince him that this was very natural looking and that it was, and he actually thought it was her hair. So that is just <laughs> wonderful. Um, so we're going to look at this wig and see what. Mira. Me voy a quitar esta, que es Ay, obviamente una René de París. Vean qué linda. Y el, el, el lace a mí me tiene loca. Lo del lace es una maravilla porque no se te ve tu raíz. Es una maravilla. Ay. Ahora voy a sacar. Tengo acá, obviamente la red de repente se puede ir, pero me la vuelvo a poner. No, no pasa nada. Me la vuelvo a poner. O no me la pongo. Sometimes I wear the, the, the net and sometimes I just don't wear the net. I mean, I don't really... I'm going to show you. Uh, tenemos una banda especial de René Paris. Uh, I can't wait to have it. Yo la quiero. Yes, yo ahorita te la enseño antes de terminar. Entonces, aquí está. Ustedes se han de acordar de Doña Alondra. Doña Alondra. Alondra era el personaje. A ver, que déjame ver. Alondra. This is Alondra. So, um, aquí la tenemos. Y esta me la cuidaban muchísimo, pero me, no sé si me la estoy poniendo bien o me la estoy poniendo al revés. Recuerde que yo no soy ninguna profesional en el tema. O sea, profesional para usarla sí, pero para ponérmelas tal vez no. Ahí va, espérate. A ver, déjame ver si el tag está de, de aquí atrás, the little tag. Ahora sí, ahora sí me la puse bien. Entonces, esta es Doña Alondra. Mira. Obviamente, ajusto un poquito por aquí por allá, porque yo le puse unos clips, ¿no? Pero más o menos esta es Doña Alondra, aquí la tiene. Tengo Doña esta. Alondra, mira nomás. <ríe> y te la puedes bajar un poquito más. ¿Y sabes qué me ayudó muchísimo, Daniela? Bien. Esta novela la hicimos en Acapulco, México. That means moisture, like sea level, humedad. Entonces era un tema. Y yo veía a las actrices, con todo el respeto lo digo, que se les hacía el pelo así... No, ¿Sí? all their hair was like shrinking because of sí, the, uh, the temperature, the moisture. Sí, una y gran yo, diferencia en cabello humano y, y cabello sintético. So Laura is sharing that the reason she, she picked this particular style is because when you're in an area where the, the climate is very humid, um, this, is a, this has been a, a lifesaver for her because her hair isn't going to frizz. It's At all. Fabulous all the time, which is something that a lot of times, if you've never even looked into wigs, this is such a great accessory because if you are in humid weather, your hair, it's bulletproof beauty. That's what I love calling it. I love the way that you say, the way yes. you say it, bulletproof. <laughs> it is. Bullet. It is. And it's yes. I just love this wig. I really like it. It's and very, very nice. I have a special, a special uh, uh, love for this one because there's, there's history behind it. No?
Okay, and I, I always say that, you know, whenever you put the wig on, I'm not responsible for the personality that comes with it. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen when you put a wig on. Eso me encanta. And there's something that I, I think you, we were talking before airing, and, and that's very important. There's a lot of women or a lot of people out there that are like hesitating about their confidence of wearing a wig. And I think that you have to feel happy the way you are. You can wear a wig. You cannot wear a wig. Women are beautiful no matter what we wear, I think. Yes. And I think the one thing, um, as, Laura share, as Laura is sharing this, the one thing that I did want to just share is I know that there's a lot of women. I meet a lot of women, and they're hesitant or embarrassed to ask for help. And it's so beautiful that Laura is sharing with us today because I mean, just imagine her background and everything that she's done globally. And she's with us live here, just sharing, taking her wig off and just sharing what a benefit it is for her to be wearing wigs. Um, it is, I, I always say, I ha work with a lot of young children and I always just tell them when they're like 16 to 18, don't look at it like a wig. It's an accessory, just like a different handbag, a different pair of shoes. This is gonna just um, help you get through that transition that you're maybe going through. It, it's part of you. It's yes, part, of it's you. part of you. So tell me, Laura, ¿usted tiene nombres para sus pelucas? Ah, sí. ¿Tiene Hay una, a este en particular le pusimos Scarlett. No me Scarlett. pregunten por qué. Okay. Scarlett. La acabamos de usar para un videoclip que hicimos en Bogotá, Colombia. Y es una de mis favoritas porque a mí me gusta mucho el color. Yo le llamo caoba. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. It's like a copper color, maybe. Mm -hmm. Y este color, si alguien se quiere pintar el pelo de copper, something going to red, it's going to be really hard to get rid of it eventually yeah. because you're staining your color and it really alters your natural uh, color. So I think this is the way to go. I just, I'm sorry. As you can see, I left the net away. I'm just to them. Y otra cosa que a mí me encanta es que la gente últimamente me pregunta, ¿Dónde las compras? ¿Dónde las pueden comprar, Daniela? Ahorita que me las estoy acomodando, dinos okay. dónde las pueden conseguir. Ok, so Rene Paris es el mayor fabricante de pelucas en el mundo. Rene Paris is the largest manufacturer of wigs in the world. We're on every continent except Antarctica. So if you're, if you're looking in your area, say for instance, México, Colombia, you want to go to reneaparis.com. Let me show you what the page looks like. Thank you. Esta es una información valiosísima. And you go and into the search, do a search location, and you will find verified vendors. Por, uh, porque es muy importante hallar alguien que trabaja con René de Pérez. Y no es alguien que, you know, we have to be a little bit careful sometimes. Whenever claro. Que sea, que sea una persona, o sea, que sea, que sea una empresa seria. Que, sí. te, que te está vendiendo el producto real, el producto de la calidad que tú quieres, que no sea una copia. Porque desgraciadamente en el mundo de, de las pelucas hay muchas copias. Pero si, o sea, si es René of Paris, o como decimos los mexicanos, René de París, estás del otro lado. Tienes una sí. calidad. No se cae. Algo que me llama mucho la atención es que cuando yo las lavo, no me quedo con el pelo en las manos. Este, es la enorme diferencia entre una peluca de calidad y una que no tiene calidad. Fíjese que yo, yo todavía tengo pelu yo tengo pelucas en mi, um, ¿cómo se dice? En Time Capsule que tienen 25 años y todavía son de calidad. Wow. So, okay, so Laura is sharing that if you're looking for or, or you're looking to buy Renea Paris wigs, where do you go? Renea Paris is not a retailer, it's a manufacturing company. So we are, we're available at reneaparis.com to see all our different lines. And then you would go to the search to look for your general location to look for a verified retailer. That's very, very important because you know these days, you just don't know if you're buying quality merchandise from a verified vendor. Laura, mira nomás. Y sabes que algo que me, mira, I'm 58, almost 59 years old. And I would never hide my age. I'm so proud of my yes. age because every single year of my life, I've enjoyed it. And yes. I've learned a lot. I've learned my lessons and I'm still learning. And uh, there's a lot of, like, I remember my mother, 
uh, 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 rest in peace. My mother had, had very little hair. Like she, she had a lot of like, you know, like spots without hair, hairless spots. And uh, I think that she was always like, um, she was not confident of herself because of that. And I think that is so unfair. People should never feel that, you know, that, that embarrassment at all. Why? I mean, there's a lot of people without hair with any sort of condition, health conditions, but there's always a way for you to feel better. Yes. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be extremely honest today with yes. you. Look at this. Thank you. Look at this. This is my hair, okay? I decided to go with my white hair because I was done dyeing my hair. So if you look at me, look at this. You see? It's a spot, a hairless spot. Mm -hmm. So I am inheriting what my mom used to have. So this is me. I just accept who I am and I just deal with it. That's my best position in life. That's just what I decided to do. Es lo que yo decidí hacer. O sea, yo decidí, mira, aquí tengo que me falta pelito por aquí. ¿Sabes qué? Lo veo y tomo una decisión. ¿Qué quiero hacer? En este caso, decidí dejarme mi pelo con mis canas. Obviamente, le das una ayudadita, te vas con un buen tinturista para que tengas unas canas lindas que no se vean opacas. Pero este es mi pelo natural. Y a mí me gusta así y puedo esconder eso. Pero lo mejor del mundo es que me acaban de hacer llegar una peluca bien bonita, Daniela. Ustedes. <risa> llegar, está padrísima. Miren, okay. me voy a poner ahora. Es la de... Ve? A ver. Esta, esta en particular, ¿sabe por qué me gustó? Porque hay de dos. O te ves como una abuelita adorable, o te ves no, como no, no, una no. super es la... fashion woman, lo que tú quieras. Ay, no, lo esa está quieras. linda. Esa es la nueva, le, uh, el nuevo estilo que le mandó René. ¿Me la mandaron a mí? Sí, ok, esa es uh, agradecida. la colección de Alexander. Exacto. Sí, y okay. ve qué bonita, tú te sabes mejor que yo los nombres de las pelucas, yo soy un poco sonza para esas cosas, pero yo lo que sí te puedo decir es que esta, a esta ya, ya, este, ya le puse Snow White. Qué linda. Si este sí, es el favorito. Robar el nombre de favorito. Snow White. O sea, ve, esto tú te la puedes poner de la manera más fashion, o te la puedes poner de la manera más este, conservadora, es lo que tú quieras, la puedes hacer para acá, la puedes hacer para el otro lado, o sea, es como tú lo quieras, el pelo, se ve divino, la puedes echar toda para adelante. Y yo te juro que si salgo con esta peluca a la calle, como la gente ya sabe que tengo el pelo blanco, van a decir, es tu pelo, qué lindo se ve. Se le mira muy natural. Y ya engañé a medio mundo. <risa> Miren nomás, ok, so Laura is sharing that she loves this wig. This is from the Alexander Couture Collection. This is the new piece that we launched maybe two weeks ago. This is a beautiful piece. I'm proud to say, and Alexander will tell you himself, I helped him design this wig. It's a beautiful... Thank you! Yes. Um, he's, he's wonderful. He just asked me what I thought, and I go, let's go with a little bit longer bang and maybe a smudge root, a root, and I just love it. And I just want you to know it is my favorite style, too. So Laura names her wigs like I do, and this is, this is going to be... She said, what was it, Laura? Snow White. <laughs> Snow White. She calls her Snow White. But look how beautiful this style is. I love it. Mujeres que tienen, okay. que tienen cabello fino y necesitan algo. Just, ay, yo no sé que cuando no, puede, no quieren per, uh, preguntar para ayuda, ¿por qué? Hay mucha ayuda. Las pelucas son nomás como accessory. It's another son accessory. It's bonitas. Like Tan like bonitas. It, I, I call it an accessory. I, yeah. I think you're completely right, Daniela. And uh, definitely, I think this is a beautiful accessory. Can you imagine if you want to go like with, a, you know, in a modesty look, you can go to whatever your preferences are in life, like go to church or go to a, ha a family happening, or you want to go fancy and you have this amazing makeup and you have like an amazing black dress. You're a sad woman. It doesn't matter how old you are. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. You have to have It's the here. hair that matches. Sí, tienes que tener el cabello. Es muy importante. So, Laura, ¿cuántos años tienes usando pelucas, por favor? Pues mira, yo tengo, usando las pelucas de una forma ya abierta y tener un espacio, tengo todo un closet de pelucas, nada más de pelucas. O sea, no de hair uh, extensions, but wigs. Eh, ya tengo, mmm, no te miento, como cinco años. 
de tener ya un stock de pelucas y, y las de René of Paris están impecables, intocables, in, o sea, vaya, quiero decir que están en perfectas condiciones. Entonces, yo no sé qué voy a hacer, necesito otro closet. <risa> Ay, pero, es importante, a ver, y, y luego cuando vas en, en viaje de vuelo, ¿cuántos suitcases de pelucas llevas? Es de lo más fácil del mundo. Yo, <risa> honestamente, obviamente lo mejor es transportarlas en su caja, es lo mejor. Sí. Pero muchas veces vas con un carry-on, entonces yo lo que hago, yo, Laura, lo que hago es esto, meto el pelo hacia adentro, y la gran ventaja que tiene este pelo es que cuando tú lo vas a sacar de la maleta, no va a perder su forma. Entonces, yeah. I think it's very important yeah. to tell them all that you cannot use any sort of heat on this hair, and you just rush it out, and it's going to be impeccable. Y yes. que nos digas, dinos cómo es el mantenimiento de la peluca para cuando la lavas, y cómo la tienes que tratar, que eso sí es importante saberlo. Okay, so Laura is wanting me to share, whenever you're traveling, it's very, very important to remember. It's fabulous to remember that when you're traveling, you can turn these inside out. You can just turn them inside out like this. And you, I, uh, a team that I work with probably hates all my cases, but because I know it's a little bit of a pain, but you can put so many wigs in there. And then once you get to your destination, you just get them, shake them, and they're ready to go. The important, uh, Answering your question, Laura was asking him about how to shampoo them. If you're traveling, you don't have to shampoo them very often, maybe every two weeks. If you're at home wearing them every day, uh, depending on how, how um, sometimes I get them, I need to wash them every week, depending on the color. Um, because this color is, is also like, a, this is a bubble gum color, but my hands are constantly going through this hair right here. So I for a lot of makeup. I have to shampoo it sooner than maybe if I wasn't running my fingers through. But the beautiful thing is they air dry, you shake them, and they're ready to go. So they are the, they are, they are the best accessory to have traveling with you. And es lo mejor que te puede pasar. Sabes que me fui a esquiar en Navidades con la familia. Y tú sabes que cuando vas a esquiar, pues, ¿cómo traes el pelo? Digo, cuando andas de viaje, yo traía el pelo, pues, ya sabes, con el casco y todo el pelo aplastado y el pelo deshecho, pero yo salía, me, me, me ponía mi peluca, literal, me ponía la peluca como ponerme otro gorrito, no pasaba frío, y me ponía un gorrito de, de estos de invierno y traes tu pelo perfectamente arreglado. Entonces, ve, ¿en cuántos segundos me puse esta peluca? En nada, en lo que tú hablabas. Y esta, yo la amo y la adoro porque me, me, me parece natural, me pare... a veces, yo que hago pet grooming, Muchas veces estás haciendo un live y tú, o sea, yo que me dedico a esto, que tengo un negocio que se llama Jojo's Grooming, pues te quieres ver linda en un live. Entonces, a veces el perro te moja, te hace demás. <risa> te quieres ver bien, pues te pones una peluca como esta que te vas a ver bien, te vas a ver presentable. Y este y créeme, estoy yo de verdad que te puedo decir, yo amo mis pelucas. Y ese cuidado que acabas tú de decir, el cuidado que hay que tener con las pelucas es realmente sencillo. O sea, no, no requieres de tanto cuidado, la dejas secar y por eso hay que tener de dos a tres. En lo que se está secando una, tú ya te pusiste otra. Y algo que me llama la atención muchísimo, una peluca, tal vez es delicado lo que voy a decir, pero una peluca de pelo natural, de pelo real, es carísima. It's hard to afford a natural hair wig. It's hard to afford because it's a lot of money and a lot of caring. Yes. And you have to style it and you need time. It's like having your own hair, so you have to invest timing and, and, and skills to style it. Uh, and René of Paris, I think it's very affordable. If you put together in a balance, si pones en una balanza el servicio que te da la peluca, el hecho de que ya está peinada, que no la tienes que arreglar, que no tienes que hacerte mucho peinado, yo creo que el... el, el uh, el, el, el costo-beneficio es vale la pena. Cost and the benefit is yes. definitely a good investment. Thank you, Laura, for saying that. So, Laura sharing that not only are wigs wonderful, they save you time, but the financial benefit that you have, that you're saving money, you don't have to go in and have your hair done constantly. And for those that really, I mean, we're, again, we're beautiful both ways, but if you are in need of a wig and you think that only human hair is going to look natural, 
this is not true. This is not true. I have worn wigs for over 20 years. I had to start wearing one when I was 27. And human hair was just not my choice. Um, it is, you have to be, you have to do it like your own head of hair. So when I, when I got a hold of my first wig, like Laura said, it is so beneficial to just have a wig that you can put on. It stays looking good. You don't have to have someone that's constantly redoing it for you, especially if you're not hair friendly, if you will. And in, in her career, in all the different, um, all the different work that she does, imagine how fast she has to be ready. So um, the, in our everyday life, I like to say um, I wear them from the, for the runway in my life. But I like to be ready and I like to change them. And I, I don't want to invest in one wig that's really expensive. I would rather have like five to seven wigs compared to maybe the price of one human hair. Yo creo que tienes toda la razón. Eso es súper importante. Y algo que no sé si ustedes lo puedan ver. Digo, yo soy un poco ciega y tengo que usar lentes. Pero quiero mostrarle a tu, a, a, a tu audiencia, mi querida Dani, algo que es muy importante es el, esto del lace que ustedes tienen. Este lace que es súper natural y que estás viendo cómo el pelo se ve como si fuera realmente tu cráneo. Esto realmente no creo que la cámara, que mi cámara dé para que ustedes lo puedan apreciar, pero realmente es, 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 una, es una maravilla. O sea, es una maravilla que se nos está saliendo un parte de mi propio pelo, pero aquí lo pueden ver. Mira, creo que sí lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? So Laura is sharing that she loves the lace front from our, from our styles, and yes, it does look very, very natural. Parece la línea de nacimiento. Sí, bien parece bien. pelo, de verdad. Sí, se, se le mira bien natural. Se ve natural. Esta me gusta mucho porque te la puedes acomodar como quieras. Tú la ves y se ve una peluca muy simple. Yo dije, con esta peluca me parezco a Keith Urban. <risa> Pero ve, a mí me gusta Keith Urban también. por mis comparaciones, que soy fan de Keith Urban. Pero si yo hago esto, <risa> ve qué lindo se ve. ¿No? O sea, sí, a mí me gusta bonito. También el color, el estilo... Y luego las chicas de hoy que se hacen unas trencitas súper bonitas. They can do anything they want right over here or there. So you can play with your wigs. Yes, you can use, you can use clips. You can put it up like I do. Y para las más largas en chonguitos. Uf. Y ustedes, yo he visto cómo las peinan y cómo las han puesto como en chongas. That I need to learn. Yes. Porque ustedes I, hacen I, este, I, cosas maravillosas. ¿verdad? Tengo aquí un kit completo. Y este, y yes. el wardrobe. Look, this is something that I personally, I, I think this is the best way for you, for me to show you the lace, guys. Okay. Mira, a lo mejor. Aquí pueden ustedes ver. Ven el lace. Gonna show us her favorite, one of her favorite styles, the lace. The lace. Lo ves? Entonces, this is completely transparent, so it's gonna stick to your skin color. It doesn't matter how light or dark your skin is. It's gonna match perfectly well with you. And I, I remember, I bought a wig in a uh, shopping center, whatever the brand was, mm -hmm. long time ago, oh my goodness. The first time I was wearing it, all the hair was falling apart. All the hair was falling apart. So as you said, como tú dijiste, es muy importante que te des cuenta mm -hmm. de que sea la marca de, de, de René de Paris. Mm -hmm. René of Paris, it's like that thing. I'm sorry guys, I just had knee surgery and I'm like a little bit like, like this. Well, <laughs> Let fabulous. Me me operaron de la rodilla hace poquito, pero bueno, eso no me impide estar de coqueta y de presumida, de Lucas. Ok, pues, so, Laura, do we, do, did we send you a surprise? You sent me a surprise, and I can't <laughs> open it. Oh, I want to show you this wig. Yesterday okay. I did an interview with this wig, and I was so thrilled. I was looking for it. So thrilled. And actually, uh, Miss Patty Chapoy, which is a very important spokesperson in Mexico, she was like, I love your hair. Wonderful. She was like, it's a beautiful Rene of Paris wig. <laughs> nice. Let's see. And look, because this oh, is my yeah. color, I just love it. This is another one that is from your new style, I guess. Oh, yeah. now, I, mira, ve esto, por favor. Miren, chicos, ven. Ok, lo voy a levantar, ok. Y me la puse así como Dios me dio a entender, ok. Bien, ¿vieron? Ven esta raíz y aparte tiene una cosa, yo no sé qué le hiciste a esta peluca. ¿Tú también la diseñaste, Dani? Esta es 
uh, peluca se me hace de Alexander. Sí, 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 de Alexander. Sí. Pero, Alexander. Que, o sea, está en mi ojo, pero no está en mi cara. No. Porque muchas veces estamos así con el pelo, ¿no? La manita. O sea, yo soy muy práctica. Perdóname que ya me estás conociendo que soy muy derecha y muy franca. Y si el pelo se te viene a la cara, ya no quieres nada. Y ve, no se te viene a la cara. Sí, Entonces, ese, ese, este, este sí pelo está bien bonito. Esta me encanta, me encanta. Mi marido ya está mi tiempo. ¿Por qué no te duermes con ella? Pues. <risa> Oh, fíjese que yo sí duermo con mis pelucas. Ay, me acabas de dar una gran idea. ¿Y por no qué? debes de dormir en las pelucas, pero sí yo duermo en mis pelucas. Ya tengo años, porque quiero uh, cuando... When you wake up, cuando amanece... Y si quiero esta ver noche también. de pasión, hello, ¿y por qué no? Entonces... Quiero, me, quiero verme también así. Pero sí se vale. La verdad es que está, está divino. Esto a mí me... me está... <ríe> Me, me mató. ¿Ya pudo abrir mi sorpresa? Todavía no. Ok, so we sent Laura a surprise and she has been very good about not opening it. So I have yeah. no idea what it is either. We're going to be surprised together. Y este es uh, a design... No abrir hasta Alexander el día de la Couture. Y no la abrí. Alexander Couture. Alexander is one of our designers um, from, Renea Paris. from Renea Paris. We launched his new line a couple weeks ago. So let's just see what we have. Thank you, Laura, for doing this. No, thank you for, for allowing me to do this. So, y yo me pongo como niña chiquita, este... Oh, my God. Ya iba a decir una grosería, perdón. Y decir, no manches, no manches, voy a decirlo. Qué no, bonito el color, no ya puedo ver que está bien bonito el color. O sea, te juro que estuve a punto de ordenar esta yo. Qué cosa, el color... La presentación, pero el color. No, 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 no. Está. Qué color tan hermoso, por Dios. Ok, so. Esta uh, es, hija, me la va a venir a pedir prestada. Y mira que mi hija tiene un pelo divino. Me lo va a venir a pedir. Se la voy a rentar. <laughs> <laughs> so she's loving the style, loving the color. Laura, can you do us a favor and read the information on the tag? Oh, hold on. Let me put my glasses on. Okay. okay. The tag says this. Yeah. Uh, the front of it should have el nombre de la peluca y el color, por favor. Okay. Couture Collection. El nombre de la peluca es, es Avalon. Model Avalon. 1032. 1032. Model Avalon. And the color is a milk tea out air. L -R, okay, L -R. This is from our new collection. Okay, so let's see. Avalon L -T -L -R. L -T -L -R. I'm super excited because these sold out at the show, so I didn't even get to try them on. I saw you on that live. Yes. I, I want it. I remember that. So she said she's pretty sure she was going to order this, and look, we guessed it for we guessed her favorite crown today. Ay, and no, los amo, los amo, los amo. ¿Cómo no la tuve para mi video, caray? Bueno, será para la que sí. Mira nomás. El siguiente, el siguiente video. Wow, wow. Hasta yeah. me paré y todo con la pierna mala. Está <laughs> She wants you to know it made her stand up and she just had knee surgery. Okay, that's great. Yeah, I love it. it. Ah, y y no, no le puse ningún seguro ni nada. Ay, no, no, no. Esto está. No, hasta Cher me la va a venir a pedir prestada, fíjate tú. <laughs> Te la vas a rentar. Wow, wow. Está, ¿les gusta el color? Está bien bonito, está, está pero bonito ese color. Se le está muy bien. Colombia, to shoot two more videos when I can walk normally. So definitely Avalon Tea Milk is going to be with me. She say, okay, Laura sharing that she's in love with the style. This is Avalon and Milk Tea from the Alexander Couture Collection. <laughs> has two videos coming up and she's pretty sure she's going to be rocking this crown in those videos. Hey, it's that's exciting. I just love it. I mean, how do you guys come to these colors? I, I can't believe this is not natural hair. It's hard for me to believe it. Oh you my know, it, it's, a, it's a process that I wasn't really aware of whenever I started with Adarant, but it takes, it's a process to come up with these beautiful styles. It's a science and it's a beautiful process. It takes a lot of time, but we have an amazing team. Wow. Um, 
just love all the styles that we Ahora sí que, como decimos los mexicanos, mi peluca está de pelos. Sí, sí. <laughs> I've seen that on TikTok. Y el largo está divina. Ahorita me voy a echar 20 TikToks con esto y mis Instagrams. No, 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 de verdad, qué emoción. Thank you, Renee of Paris. I was, I mean, I, when you sent me this, I was very excited, but this is like, wow, this is the, something that most of us want to have. So thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, wow, we're so pedir. happy you love it. I love it. I love it. Entonces, recuérdanos, Daniela, ¿a dónde la gente que me preguntan muchísimo que a dónde las pueden pedir? Este, eh, entonces, para recordar a qué sitio de internet deben de ir para pedirlas y que ellos compren y ellas, porque un hombre y una mujer se pueden poner lo que se les pega, pega la gana. Yo apoyo a mi Pride. Y sea, estamos terminando el mes del Pride. Yo apoyo a todo el mundo. Entonces, ¿en dónde las pueden ordenar? Ok, so Laura is asking me to share. For those that are interested in Renea Paris wigs, and we have several collections, where do you go? Renea Paris is a wholesale, but you can go to reneaparis.com. And let me show you the page again so you'll know what the, the face of the website looks like. Okay. ReneaParis.com. Okay. Déjame ver. Okay. ReneaParis.com. You can look at all the different lines that we have available. There's many different lines. You can see the designers. You can read all our stories, all the different styles and colors. But the most important thing is to do a search in your area. So like if you're traveling, which a lot of us do, and we're just getting out and we want to go into an out in-house wig store boutique to buy a wig, you can do a general search with your location and it'll show you verified vendors to go into their establishment to buy a wig. If not, you can go online. Um, but we are global. We are in all fifth. I mean, we're in every country except Antarctica. So it's the lar it's largest wig manufacturing company in the world. So we're everywhere. You can find Rene de Perez anywhere. But yeah. we do want to make sure that you find a, a, a verified vendor. It, um, I, thank you so much for sharing this, Daniela. Daniela nos está diciendo que puedes meterte a reneofparis.com y reneofparis, yo siempre digo René de París porque pues soy mexicana, pero es reneofparis.com y ustedes pueden encontrarla en cualquier parte del mundo donde ustedes estén, se meten en ese sitio y de ahí los van a mandar al link del lugar en donde ustedes, según la, la ubicación que tengan en el mundo, la puedan encontrar. Y este, ¿a poco no les gusta esto de tener un look diferente? ¿A poco no se les antoja tener en, en, así como tienes tu guardarropa y hoy te pones un vestido súper sexy y mañana te pones una blusa fashion pero hasta acá, o después te pones unos jeans rotos con unos tenis de moda y traes un look completamente diferente un día y otro? Yo creo que para la, la, la moda no hay edad, es como tú te sientas y yo creo que el pelo es como tú lo acabas de decir, Daniela, es un accesorio y como tú te quieras sentir, ¿cómo quieres sentirte ese día? ¿Te quieres sentir rubia? ¿Te quieres sentir eh, caoba, rojiza? ¿Te quieres sentir con este color T-Milk, que es algo nuevo? ¿Te quieres traer el pelo largo, el pelo corto? ¿Cómo quieres? Decídelo tú, porque René of Paris está ahí para ayudarte. Ah, fíjese que no cada día, cada 30 minutos. <ríe> Así me las cambio yo. Qué maravilla. Oh, Laura, thank you so much. And for those of you that, that tuned in, that joined in, thank you so much for understanding that we did this in Spanglish because it's very, very important. We have such an amazing audience and community. And some of us speak English, some of us speak Spanish, but I do know that I meet women when we're traveling across the United States that need help and are just a little hesitant to come up and ask for help. There's so many different options. We've got wigs, we've got toppers, we've got, oh my goodness, it's endless, the possibilities. So like I said, thank you again, Laura, for, for being so wonderful and, and trying the different wigs on. And we're happy that you loved your style. And for those of you that are looking again for something to just help you, whether it's, what, no matter what the circumstance is, you shouldn't hesitate because you don't have the monies. So like Laura was saying, Human hair can be very expensive, but um, synthetic ready-to-wear wigs are such a beautiful alternative. 
like I said, please, if you haven't and you don't know Renea Paris wigs, go to reneaparis.com. Laura, again, thank you so much. Te, te agradezco mucho por este tiempo y era un honor para uh, pasar este tiempo con usted. Muchas gracias, Anila. Soy tu fan. I always follow you. And thanks, thank uh, you. thanks to Renee of Paris, I'm getting the chance to meet beautiful people like you. And thank you for sharing with all these audience. I'm pretty sure that we, uh, together today, we gave them options and gave them uh, not just advices, but ideas on how to look better. And I'm pretty sure that today you made a lot of people out there very happy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your time. I know. Bendiciones a todos. Que Dios los bendiga. Los amo, los adoro. Y yo me voy con mi look patronado. Okay. Bien. Muy fabulous superstar. Se mira bien bonita. Bendiciones. Amén. Bendiciones a todos. Feliz fin de semana. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.